And Lori Mark, this year there's been a lot more focus on the issue of gender equity in the workplace, in large part because of the rise of the Me Too movement. There are also new faces and a new balance of power in the state Senate, giving this bill's sponsor new hope. I would like to say this is the year this bill gets passed. State Representative Tana Sen first introduced her gender pay equity bill three years ago. She says with each year it's been tweaked to gain more bipartisan support. And now between the rise of the Me Too movement and Democrats holding majorities in both the state House and Senate, she's feeling confident this bill could soon be signed into law. Her legislation updates the Equal Pay Act in the state, which makes it a misdemeanor penalty to discriminate based on gender and providing compensation. If this bill passes, employees would have additional protections if they speak up about cases where there appears to be discrimination. It would also protect employees from being penalized if they talk about their salaries with coworkers, something that could help during future negotiations. On average, women are still making around 80 cents for every dollar earned by a male worker. The gap is even worse if you take in factors such as race and parenthood. I spoke to one female tech executive, Jamila Conley, a VP at F5 Networks, about some of the challenges that still exist in negotiating a higher salary. Men are more comfortable speaking to this is what I've done and this is why I deserve this promotion or this raise or more money. And, you know, women, a lot of times we like to just keep our heads down and want to believe that the system is going to work in our favor and that people are going to see what we produce and we'll get and we'll get rewarded for it. But that's not necessarily how the world works. So then that that gap continues to be there and continue to uh, proliferate. Conley says one of her biggest pieces of advice would be do your research so you get a better idea of your value in your workplace. Back to this gender pay equity bill. It will have its first hearing in Olympia on Monday. Back to you.